Nation famous kiss. All right, gang. Listening to the news on uh, radio, and they was talking about the uh, COVID vaccines that are coming out with now. We only had two. Suddenly, uh, it came out with two here in America, and now Great Britain has one or two companies I think that they they're basing, and then there's a couple others that are coming out. Imagine that. That's some serious timing. How did all of y'all figure it out at once? Basically within a couple of week time period. I think you may be sharing a little knowledge or you got a mole in your ranks. That's one thing to look at. Another thing to look at is I've always told folks if anything works, if it's just not ridiculously simple, there's several different ways to tie your shoes or you know, you can wipe your behind right-handed or left-handed. But uh, if anything works, one model, you know, like, uh, can't think of anything right now. Because we're, as a human beings, we always making different ones, you know. You can't reinvent the wheel. But, uh, is what I was trying to say. So they got all these damn vaccines. So, and they got them pretty quick together. They're all right there bunched together because nobody wanted to get one out on the market and then, well, hell, this one works. Why do we need that one? Or, you know, it's just a, a copycat. But the last one, the story I heard, they said this new model doesn't have to be refrigerated as cold. Only costs about four or five bucks a dose. And uh, they ain't saying they ain't no testing. I don't guess. But I remember way back they re they uh, reduced the restrictions on the FDA. I have seen some studies where they said for a drug company to substantiate a claim out of like a hundred people. If their claim only worked on 15 or 20 of them, that was good enough. So, there's a lot of thought process that needs to be going into your purchase or which one. And is there a Rolls Royce version of the vaccine and like a Chevette version of the vaccine? Uh, that's something we need to be asking ourselves, you know, is there like a, a, a Fred's dollar store version versus the Saks Fifth Avenue version? Which one are they giving, you know, Obama and Trump and Clinton and, and uh, I don't know, all the movie stars and shit, which one are they getting? And then what is... You know, what's the one that, that Hector and his family down the road's getting? Or what's the one that they're going to give them? Oh, damn it. You know, there's a lot of questions we need to ask. A friend of mine said the other day, he said, buddy, by the time you get one in vaccines, they'll have the kinks worked out. That's how low on the totem pole we are. Anyway, there's a lot of food for thought. Just don't run out there and jump on the first boat. I, I don't know. I, I told him. I didn't want that first one. I want the second or third one. Let's see. Let's see if anybody grows another arm out of their back or anything, you know, off that damn thing before I go taking one. I done been down that COVID road and it sucked. And uh, if it's like the damn flu shot, boy, seems like every time I get one of them, I get the fucking flu. I don't know. Anyway, a bunch of things to think about right here at the end of 2020 bastard of a year real bastard anyway like share subscribe comment this is mo damn tire creek on works out